Hello and welcome to this part of the lesson where I elaborate on this song and this time I want to start off by elaborating on the effects used because we actually have a unique effect for each part and for the first part the verse we simply have the classic Shante crunch tone which as you probably expect comes from the chorus ensemble from Chunglo Lab. And next for the pre-chorus I used the ring modulator and if you don't have that I guess you can try to experiment with a tremolo effect. And for the chorus I used the low pass filter and the main idea uh, behind the setup of this effect was to modulate the cutoff knob uh, both with an external LFO from the CP251 which oscillates the cutoff knob back and forth at a certain speed. And I also activated the envelope parameter uh, which responds to my picking. So the harder I dig into the strings the more the cutoff filter opens up. So you know if I play softly repeatedly You pretty much hear the LFO that oscillates, but if I play it harder you can hear that we get brighter tones. But it's not the same every time because you still have that oscillating LFO. And I should also mention that I tried to connect an expression pedal to control the cutoff knob so it becomes like a wah wah effect, but that didn't really work for me. And then we get to the bridge and the main idea here was that I wanted some kind of vibrato effect and this time I chose the cluster flux because it was a long time since I used this one in a recording. So then you get an effect that sounds like this. But you know the vibrato on the chorus ensemble would have sounded really good as well. And also I think the Malumbra from Tringle Lab would have worked really good as well. And lastly for the solo we have the good old DS2 but I can mention that this time I actually felt like it was more appropriate to dial back the leveling control a bit to 12 o'clock as opposed to having it maxed out. And by no means do I claim that this is exactly what John did. You know I get stressed out if I have the goal to try to replicate exactly what he did. But instead my approach was to just play around with the effects I have here uh, until I get a sound that I think has a good vibe that fits the song. And when it comes to the actual playing of this song I want to elaborate on three sections of this song. And first we have the verse. And when I look up how other play this I think everyone seems to agree on the chords used but <laughs> everyone seems to use different voicings of the chords. And I'm not sure I got it exactly like the original but one thing I want to address is that you know we have the F chord twice both in this C shape you know this shape and also this classic F shape. And the reason I use this voicing is because I think you can hear the slide from here to here in the original song if you listen really closely. So, you know, like that. And when it comes to chorus, you can think of it as four parts, you know, this part and this part and this. And then once again, back to this part. And you know, in the original song, I think you can hear that he plays like this. Uh, but for the other part it feels like he leaves out the notes that I added in the tab, so. But it could be possible that he do subtle things, so maybe something like. Maybe something like that and varies that throughout the tab, but I wasn't really sure. And it felt like it didn't make sense to have a tab where it is a break, like. So what I did was to take this idea and apply that to the other part as well, so. You know, like that. So the reason I generalized it like that was to have something straightforward to learn, but I want to address this here, so if you want to be more like the original, I invite you to um, explore the song further and try different ideas that you seem fit. And when it comes to the bridge, you know, I have named them bridge one and then two and three, and I just want to clarify that Bridge 1 is in the first part of the song and bridge 2 and 3 are connected in the later part of the song. And bridge 1 and 2 have the same chords in the same order in my tab but I have used different voicings for the, these two parts and I don't know if everyone really agrees with that but that's, I just wanted to clarify that that is what I heard. But I'm really curious if you agree with that or not or if you think that the original uh, song plays the exact same voicing of the chords. And with that said, thank you very much for watching and you know this video here was a request like all my other lessons have been recently so if you have an idea for another song that you think would be uh, fun to learn please let me know in the comments and yeah I'll see you in the next one.